Hello everybody and welcome to these tips and tricks for Pilot Era. In this video you'll see some suggestions about how to use at best your Pilot Era, avoiding mistakes and making the shooting even more simply. Let's begin. Avoid stitching problems. To avoid stitching problems there are three ways. First of all there is the right positioning. You have to position the camera in the best way to avoid the subject being cut from the stitching. For this reason, if you have a single and main subject, be sure that it is captured by a whole single lens and to not be in the corner of the camera where it risks to be cut by the stitching. If you have multiple subjects, try to put the stitching line between them so both would be captured by a single sensor. Then set the right stitching focus. In pro settings of every shooting mode you can find the stitching focus. It is used to set the distance of the objects so the camera can reference to this setting and can focus on them for the stitching. You'll always have the live preview of the stitching focus and you will just have to set the marker in the position where the software merges the images together without creating double images or costing. Sometimes anyway you could have different objects on different stitching zones with different distances and the stitching focus could create ghosting. In this case you can try to change the stitching flow to optical flow. With this flow the software would analyze the photos pixel by pixel and would improve the stitching. If this would not help try to reposition better the camera and try to shoot again. In any case, the LCD screen will help you before and after the shooting. Pro mode is used to manually set some parameters, like exposure time. With this value you can decide for how much time to keep the diaphragm opened. This will affect the photo in terms of light. Faster is darker, slower is lighter. Long exposure time is mostly used for low light conditions. ISO. This sets the sensitivity to the light. Higher ISO, higher are the lights in the picture, but it can create the image noise. Exposure value. This value increase or decrease the general illumination of the photo. Higher is lighter, lower is darker. Weight balance which sets the tone of the photo making it warmer or colder and it depends on the lighting of the environment. And finally stitching focus which sets the distance of the objects from the camera to help the stitching. Sometimes, especially if the camera has been for a long time in indoor environment, in tilted position or in environment with magnetic fields, it could say that the compass is not calibrated. On the live preview you'll see an icon at the bottom right. Tap on it and recalibrate the compass twisting the camera in a shape of 8. If the calibration is successful you'll see a message about this, otherwise you'll have to repeat the calibration. I suggest you to do it in a place without particular magnetic fields. HDR. Pilotera has a bracketing HDR which takes three pictures with different exposures and merges them together to create HDR photo. This HDR is strong and the colors could be a bit desaturated. For this reason HDR shouldn't be used in conditions of a good lighting, also because the JPEGs work well and you would risk to have ghosting effects if something moves. HDR is suggested to be used in low light conditions like in the sunset or in indoor situation with a dark environment. Pilotera has two shooting modes regarding the video. Stitched and unstitched. The main difference between these mods is the frame rate. The highest resolution for both is 8K, but the frame per second would be 7 for stitched videos and 24 for unstitched videos. At 6K resolution we have 15 FPS in stitched and 30 FPS in unstitched, and to have 30 FPS in stitched mode you have to select 4K resolution. An advice for who shoots Google Street View video regards GPS. Pilot Era has a normal GPS, which needs around 60 seconds to connect to the satellites. For this reason, I advise you to turn the camera on some minutes before shooting and turn off the screen. This will not consume a lot of battery and when it will be the moment to shoot, the camera will be already connected to GPS and you will not have to wait. 